Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakakwadash. Those are the names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ, whose correct and proper names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Harakakwadash, the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, the men, the prophets, that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine to you. I say shalom. Okay, this will be the biggest upset in history. All right, and, and it's going to be an upset because no one expects the hopeful elect, the elect to win. No one is no one views us as the children of Israel, excuse me, the children of Israel, the most highest chosen. All right. We've always been seen as an underdog in the society and, you know, uh, uh, um, really just a, 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 the laughing stock of the world. OK, Israel. All right. But at the end of the day, we're going to get the victory. All right. When it's all said and done, Israel is going to rise. Israel will get the victory. Israel is going to win. All right. We, we've a hey, the most high is dealing with the underdog. That's what you don't realize. All right, the Most High has never dealt with large numbers. He's never dealt with, you know, that's why a lot of people, a lot of Jakes can't, uh, you don't see a lot of Jakes coming into this truth because the Most High has only ch chosen a select few, okay? But we're going to get the victory. It's like a, a team being down in the fourth quarter, uh, a, a team up oh, um, a team up 3-0 in a seven-game series, all right? You know, you down four touchdowns at the two-minute warning, and, and, you know, people is leaving, the, the people are, you know, yeah, going home, leaving the stands, all right, you know, the, the broadcasters are, you know, are, are disinterested in the game, but at the end of the day, this, 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 we're, the elect is going to win, all right, it's going to be the biggest upset in history, all right, you know, if, if you watch any sports, it's, it's going to, you think about the, the biggest upset you've ever seen, all right, it's going to be bigger than that, because no one is giving us a chance, no one's calling us the uh, children of Israel, all right, but hey, at the end of the day, we're going to win. At the end of the day, we're, we'll have, we will have the victory. We're going to, you know, we're going to be holding that. Uh, we're going to be up in those chariots, all right? Getting the victory over Esau, uh, uh, the system, okay? And, 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 you know, all the, the wicked devices that they put in our way. We're going to get the victory, all right? Then we get the definition of underdog. It says, a competitor thought to have little chance of winning a fight or a contest. And the hopeful elect are competing for the kingdom of heaven. All right, are fighting every day for the kingdom of heaven, are signing and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And no one's giving us a chance. No one's giving us a shot at the kingdom. All right, no, no, no one's thinking. No, even our people. All right, they, they, they don't, they don't, they don't see the kingdom like we do. They not, they not, they not um, hastening the day of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay, hey, and no one sees us winning. No one thinks that the prophecies that we speak of are going to come to come come to. Uh, come to um come to pass but they're coming to pass all right and, and those that don't believe it hey they're going to be uh what the scripture says um in second ezra 9 um all the unfaithful shall die in unfaithfulness all right i want to get the second definition a person who has little status in society who is that all right that's israel we have a we, hey, we're small amongst uh, uh we've looked at small amongst all these nations all right even with, even though we're the greatest nation uh, at the most I ever created, we're um, we're we're a in this society we have a um a little status, okay, so that's why we looked at as a, as a underdog. That's why it's going to be a big the biggest upset, all right? Because those niggas, those 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 those, those spicks, you know, all those derogatory terms you call us, those are the, uh, those are the chosen people of the most high, all right? Those are your future leaders. Those are your future rulers. Okay, but no one sees that. All right, but the Most High has always dealt with small numbers. The Most High has always uh, uh, dealt with the underdog, dealt with the lowly, dealt dealt with the meek. All right, so let me grab a few scriptures. Um, first one I want to grab is Deuteronomy seven and uh, verse uh, seven, and it reads, "The Lord did not set His love upon you, nor chose you because you were more in number than any people." For ye were the fewest of all the people. It shows you the most size not dealing, dealing with uh, 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 large numbers of people, okay? But he's dealing with a few, all right? And that few right now is the hopeful elect. The elect, 144,000, all right? Verse 8, but because the Lord loved you and because he would keep his oath, 
which he swore unto your fathers, he have the Lord have the Lord brought you out of the mighty hand and redeemed you from the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And the Lord is going to deliver his elect from this captivity, all right, from uh, this bondage, all right, and that, that we're currently in. And no one believes that. No one gives us a shot at, at, you know, they don't believe in the chariots. They don't see the, you know, they, they can't, even if you show a nigga a chariot, they're going to say it's something else. They're going to say it's a drone or, or something else. They don't think that's the power of the Most High. But the Most High is about to show his power, all right? And he's showing his power right now with him waking up the elect. That's power, okay? Um, Let me grab, I want to grab this scripture in um, Kings where uh, the Most High opens up uh, Elisha's eyes and he sees those chariots, all right? And he knew, and when he, once he saw those chariots, hey, he knew that we had the victory, all right? This is 2 Kings chapter 6, and uh, I'm sorry, I thought it was 12. And one of his servants said, None, my lord, O king, but Elisha, the prophet that is in Israel, telleth the king Israel, of Israel the words that thou speakest in thy bedchamber. And he said, Go and spy where he is, that I may send and fetch him. And it was told him, saying, Behold, he is in Dothan. Therefore, he sent, therefore sent he hither horses and chariots, and a great host, and they came by night and composed, com compassed about the city. And when the servant of the man of the Most High was risen early and gone forth, behold, a, ho a host compassed city, both with horses and chariots. And the servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? Like, what are we going to do? You know, how are we going to defeat them? And he answered, Fear not, for they for they be sh they, it's like you fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. All right. It's, 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 it's with the angels, with the chariots, it's more of us than them. All right. But those that, those that don't believe, they can't see that. Edomites is not spiritual. They won't see it at all. But two thirds of our own people can't see that, that we have the power. We have the victory. All right. Any, any, uh, let me see. Verse 17. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened his eyes and the young man, and he saw. And behold, the, behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots and fire round about Elisha. And those were the chariots. He opened his eyes and he saw the, the power. All right. And, and the hopeful elect that's open, have their eyes open right now. We see the power of the Lord. We see that, hey, whatever happens, we're still going to get the victory. All right. We may be backed in a corner, literally, and, and we have no shot. We have no chance of getting out. All right, we've been thrown in a concentration camp under the guillotine, whatever it may be. The elect still going to get the victory, whether you do, whether you still kill these fleshly bodies. All right, we're going to get this. You're going to get the victory. Actually, let me grab this in Job, because um, that's what people think. Like, oh well, they can just come kill you, or you know, that nigga's dead now. Look at him. You know, put all this faith in the Lord, and the uh, uh, the Lord couldn't save him. But, hey, the Lord is going to save uh, a lot of Israelites, the elect, through uh, uh, miracles. Okay, that's that standard that's going to be lifted up. All right, where, where like I said, where you could think that we don't got a shot, and we don't got a shot, you know, and, and somehow, some way, the Lord's going to deliver his elect. This is uh, Job 19 and verse 25. And it reads, For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter days upon the earth. And though, and, and though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet... In my flesh shall I see my power. All right. So the hey, So what if we die? All right. And the elect, the, the the those that die in Yahweh shall are going to be raised up first. Thus said the scriptures. Okay. So then that, that that's what Jake is scared. Of. Jake is you know scared of taking an L. Jake, Jake think that you know Jake already think that you know we're going to lose. All right. Oh man, how are we going to go up Esau's army and Esau's technology? That shit is nothing compared to what the Most High's got. To what the Most High is going to provide for his elect. You know, it's going to be it's going to be miraculous. All right. And the ones that's going to believe is is the elect the you know, the and, and the other ones that don't believe they will believe once the elect is being delivered. The once you see the miracles done uh, uh, for the elect, but a for, for a lot of them, it's going to be too late. This is Matthew chapter um, 10 and verse 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both body 
excuse me, both soul and body in hell. All right. Hey, don't fear this devil. All right. We don't fear what this devil can do to us. All right. This is, is, is he, you know, his, his power is limited. All right. The, the scriptures say that, you know, he reached the bounds which he can't pass. All right. So, hey, the, it, everything has a limit in, in, in this world. All right. But the most high, the most high's power don't got a limit. Yahweh about Shemiah Shai's power don't, doesn't have a limit. All right. Um, I'm bouncing all over the place. Let me grab this in Judges uh, 7 and 2. And this is when Gideon was, um, you know, getting a, a 300 chosen men, or, or says it, uh, to go fight. But the Lord told him, you know, he didn't want, he didn't, he didn't want, a, he didn't want a lot of men. All right. It says, uh, Judges 7 and 2, and the Lord said unto Gideon, the people that are with thee are too many. Forgive me, for, for me to give the Midianites into their hands, lest Israel vaunt themselves against me, saying, my own hand saved me. So hey, the Mosiah had told Gideon he had to cut down the number. All right, because the Mosiah has never been dealing with, with large, large numbers. He's dealing with the underdog. All right, he wants, you know, uh, uh, he wants you to put your faith in him where it's uh, uh, more of them than you. All right, and really it's more of them than, than, than the hopeful elect right now. All right, it's two thirds of our own people, right along with the heathens and the Edomites. They're all against the elect. That's why the Most High is dealing with small numbers. So, when the elect overcome this devil, when the elect get the victory over this devil, it is 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 you can see the heavenly Father's power. All right, verse three. Now therefore go now, now therefore go to proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, Whosoever fear, is fearful and afraid, let him return and depart early from Mount Gilead, and there return of the people 20 and 2,000, and there remain 10,000. And the Lord said unto Gideon, the people are yet too many, bring them down unto the water, and I will try them uh, for thee there. And it shall be that of whom I say unto thee, this shall go with thee, and the same shall go with thee. And whomsoever I say unto thee, this this shall not go with thee, and shall not, and shall not go. So we ride the people down unto the water, and the Lord said unto Gideon, everyone that lappeth, of the water with his tongue, as a dog laveth, him shall thou set by him set by himself. Likewise, every one that boweth down uh, upon his knees to drink, and that number of them that laveth, putting their hands to their mouths, there were three hundred men, and the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to drink water. So they, they is a process of elimination. All right, and that's what's going on right now. It's a process of elimination where where the Most High sift in the house of Israel. Where he sift, where where he's getting those that that aren't diligent, those that are just bullshitting about this truth, he's getting them out of there. And because the like I said, the Most High is not dealing with a large multitude of people. All right, it, it's the Scripture says, um, many are called and few chosen. If you're called to this, great, but you want to be one of the chosen at the end of the day. All right, let me jump over to um, the Book of First Maccabees for another, you know, another precept. Going into uh, the Most High, dealing with small numbers. First Maccabees three, and verse uh, sixteen. And when he came near to him, going up to Bethron, Judas went forth to meet with them a small company, who they saw, who when they saw the host coming to meet them, said unto Judas, How shall we be able, being so few, to fight against so great multitude and so strong, seeing? We are ready to faint with fasting all this day. So how, how are we going to beat them? And we're just small in number. All right. Someone may come in and ask that question. Like Esau has all this technology. You know, uh, they're strong in number. They're military. They're, they're, they're police force. Hey, we already got the victory. All right. We, we Hey, don't worry about Esau. Worry about, you know, uh, um, serving the Lord. And the Lord is going to deliver you. All right. Verse 18. Unto whom Judah answer, Judas answered, it is... It is no hard matter for many to be shut up in the hands of a few. And with the most high of heaven, it is all it is all it is all one to deliver the great multitude or small company. For the victory for the victory of battle standeth not in the multitude of a host, but the strength but strength that but strength cometh from heaven. And this, that strength is coming from the heavenly father, all right, and his son. All right. They come against us and much pride and iniquity to destroy us and our wives, children, and to spoil us, but we will fight for our lives and our laws. All right, that was the, you know, the uh, the Maccabees brothers, um, you know, fighting against, um, who was it, the, um, the, uh, the, the Grecians. All right, um, 
because this has always been a fight for the kingdom. And Esau's fighting for their kingdom, and we're fighting for the kingdom of heaven. All right, and Esau's been on top so long. All right, it doesn't seem that you know whatever we come with, we're not we're we're not going to um, succeed. We're not going to prevail. Okay, but like I said, like I've been saying, the elect has always had the victory. It's always been a struggle between Esau, even all the way back to the womb. Okay, and and you know it's hey, it's a struggle for power. All right, hey, they've been on top for they've been on top for a while, but hey, their end is their 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 run is coming to an end. All right, their kingdom is coming to an end, right? and everyone sees it, even they see it. That's why they're coming down with great wrath. Okay, because you know it's like. I, I, I'm comparing this to a game, you know, the biggest upset. Hey, yeah, when 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 a team is got they got they back against the wall, they're gonna bring, they're gonna put their best players, they 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 best they best shot uh, at the forefront. That's what Esau is gonna have to do. They're gonna bring out all their wicked technology. They're gonna bring out, you know, their their their, their military, you know, uh, uh, their, their um, you know, all their, their 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 guns and laboratory shit. They've been working on all these psyops. They've been pushing out. They're gonna come with great wrath. And and at, the, at and with all that wrath, all the great wrath and all the great witchcraft they're going to come with, they're still going to lose. All right. This is um, Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. All right. So, hey, this devil's going to all his, you know, trick plays and, and all of that shit. Because, you know, hey, he, he got to... He, he sees the king, his kingdom slipping away. Okay, he sees that fourth quarter lead slipping away. Okay, they was up four touchdowns. They was up thirty points, forty points uh, uh, in the fourth quarter, and, and all of a sudden, you know, uh, Jake come through hitting four or five threes. You know, Steph Curry range, and, and Esau can't do nothing about it. Okay, but hey, they see they see their end coming. That's why they're gonna come with that great wrath. All right. And, and like I said, the elect is going to get the victory, and you, hey, they know it, all right. But there's something that these devils, they so proud that they don't want to accept, and they they'll never accept it until they're until they're captive in the kingdom of heaven. Um, let me grab this uh, Revelation 15 and one. And I saw a another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues. For in them is filled with the wrath of the Most High. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire and them that have gotten the victory over the beast. Hey, it's still you right there. It's written. They hey, they got the victory. The elect that's, that, that's in that chariot got the victory over the beast. The NATO and the EU, this new world, this new world order system. All right. Esau's infrastructure and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass having the harps of the most high okay hey that that's the victory right there and sing and they sing sing the song of moses the servant of the most high and the song of the lamb saying great and marvelous are his are thy works lord power almighty just and true are they are thy ways thou king of the saints all right so it's it's, it's clear right there that that's the that's the victory. That's the, vic the, the victory the elect is going to get. All right, but it's, hey, up to up to that point, it's gonna it's gonna seem like the elect don't have a chance, a chance. You know, it's gonna seem like the elect is, you know, uh, 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 you know, like we've always been, had our back against the wall. All right, fighting. Okay, and this is like I said, this is a spiritual fight. And the physical fight when Yahweh Shai and the angels come is going to be easy. Okay, but Esau is going to get physical sooner or later because they know they don't have no choice to. That's what they're going to revert back to. Once their witchcraft and all their 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 this uh, uh you know deception doesn't work, okay, they're gonna come. They're gonna come again. They're gonna come against the elect, the hopeful elect, strong. All right, but at the, at the end of the day, the elect is not gonna fold. The elect is not gonna be compromised. The elect is not gonna bend to Esau, the system, the C H I P, the J A B, or or nothing that Esau is offering. Okay, and this is the moment that they know that they know that the, this is over. It, 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 you know, the um, you know the, the the victory is pretty much sealed. All right, this is uh, wisdom of Solomon five and one. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such have afflicted him, and made no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear, and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation, so far beyond all that they look for. 
and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit, shall say within themselves, This was he whom we had sometimes in derision, and a proverb of reproach. And this is him that who we had down, who who, who was who we basically had down his whole life, and all of a sudden in the fourth quarter, the, the third, the uh, uh the third period, the ninth inning, okay, he comes back and, and, and defeats us. Yes, <laughs> that's the elect that they talk about. All right, we fools account his life madness and in and, and his end without honor. How is he numbered among the children of the Most High? And how is his lot? And and his lot is among the saints. Therefore, we have erred from the way of truth, and the lights of righteousness have not shined unto us, and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. All right. So hey, that, that's that's the point, man. The, the elect is going. The elect is the hopeful elect is out there standing. The elect is out there standing in righteousness and great boldness, uh, telling this devil to his face. That the kingdom is going down, and we got next, and we're gonna we're gonna rule forever, all right. And, and they hate it; they can't deal with it, all right. That's why this is going to be a big upset, because in the eyes of everyone, even two thirds of our own people, Esau cannot be defeated. Esau is; they feel Esau is undefeated, okay. The old Yahweh Shai is undefeated, all right. Yahweh Shai got the victory over death, all right. So, hey, hey, when it's all said and done, hey, the elect is gonna roll. Elect is gonna roll. The elect is gonna win, okay. And, and and the elect is never excuse me and and the Israel is never going to fall again, all right. You'll never see Israel in in a state uh, um, as we once were in, all right. So Lord, within this lesson was edifying to the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Until next time, I say Shalom.